Greetings. I'm the Reverend Jen Fenner of Epworth United Methodist Church, and this is Transformed by Faith Today. We continue in week three of our 30 days of prayer and fasting this Lenten season. And this week, we focus on the condition of our hearts when we fast. Second Chronicles 7 verses 13 to 14 say the following, If I close the sky so there is no rain, or if I command the locust to devour the land, or if I send a plague among my people, and if my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. The Second Chronicles passage is often referred to, particularly in the context of prayer and fasting. And I want us to focus on verse 14 and the ways in which we are called to come before God. The scripture says that, first of all, we are God's people and, and called by God's name. And so we come before God in humility, in prayer, and in seeking, not just seeking an answer to our questions or seeking the answer that we want in our prayers, but seeking God's face and willing to turn from the ways that separate us from God. I want us to consider if that is the posture with which we are coming to God, acknowledging that we already belong to God, that this is not about whether we will be God's or not. We already are. If we come humble, if we come in prayer, if we come seeking God's presence, not seeking a specific answer, and if we come willing to turn from our ways. The scripture tells us that when we come in that posture, God will hear us, God will forgive us, God will heal us, and God's eyes will be open and ears attentive to all that we offer in this place. As we've walked through these 30 days of prayer and fasting, I'm actually amazed at how judgmental we are of ourselves how convinced we are that we're going to do this wrong and somehow incur God's wrath. When in fact, it seems that God is simply saying, you belong to me, so come to me humbly, seek me, and seek not just the answer to your questions, but seek my face. Be willing to make change based on what you encounter in my presence and trust that I can forgive, I can hear, I can heal, I can see, and I can listen. Today, I invite you to simply come before God, seeking God's face, nothing more than just being in God's presence, whether that's a quiet place to just rest, whether that's an openness in the midst of a worship song, whether that's a drive to work in, in a silence that allows you to just hear in your heart what God is doing whether it's locking yourself in the bathroom so that nobody else can enter, whether it's simply being in nature. God says, seek my face and be willing to make change based on what you hear and trust that I hear and that I heal and that I forgive. God, we thank you for who you are and for how you are at work. And we thank you for every way that you are our God. Teach us to trust you, Lord. Teach us to believe in your power. Teach us that as we seek you, not only will you be found, but that you will hear and forgive and heal and see. In Jesus' name. <music>